This is the triple cage match for the NLW Championship main eventing here at True Grit. Kevin Owens, Kenny Omega and the champion Daniel Bryan fighting tooth and nail. The goal, climb to the top of the cage and grab the championship. And anything goes in this one. Kevin Owens throwing Daniel Bryan off the side of the cage. And Omega's got the championship. It's The Undertaker. And now Jeff Hardy's out here, cashing in. Money in the bank. Jeff Hardy is the NLW champion. The higher power has been revealed. They're in cahoots, and The Undertaker helping Hardy become champion. Welcome to NLW, folks. We are live. True Grit was a phenomenal pay-per-view. And now we are on the road to the Royal Rumble. And right now you see the man who fought Adam Cole at True Grit and came up short in that brutal street fight. And you hear the thunderous ovation for Stone Cold Steve Austin as we take you to what happened at True Grit. It was a street fight for the ages. Adam Cole at one point being thrown through glass. He was covered head to toe in blood. A stunner wasn't enough. Even Adam Cole had to go to the well with a last shot with a barbed wire wrapped around his knee. It was one of the best matches of the year, folks. And Adam Cole was victorious. But tonight, we got more action for you, including a six-man tag. Los Ingobernables take on the Death Triangle. Plus, we have a huge match between Orange Cassidy and AJ Styles, who, let's face it, he's probably going to be accompanied to the ring by Gallows and Anderson. And our main event, it is going to be Kenny Omega versus The Undertaker. The Undertaker costing Kenny Omega the NLW title at True Grit. And tonight they face off in the main event. But what has Stone Cold got to say here tonight? I'll tell you what. Old Stone Cold is banged up and bruised after the bloody war that I had with the leader of the Undisputed Era, Adam Cole. And credit to him, that tough son of a bitch beat me. I'm not out here to make excuses. Adam Cole beat me fair and square in that street fight, and I may hate his guts, I may hate the Undisputed Era, but even I have to admit, Adam Cole, you have my number at True Grit. And for that, I have to say, congratulations, son. But where does that leave me? Where does that leave Old Stone Cold? Well, Old Stone Cold has his sights set on the Royal Rumble. Austin 316 says, I am officially entering the Royal Rumble match. And for every man I throw out of that match, I'm going to drink a beer. And that's going to be one, two, three, four down. That's 29 beers. Son, you best believe Stone Cold Steve Austin is winning the Royal Rumble and going to WrestleMania. He will not stay down. I will not quit. And that's the bottom line because Stone Cold said so. Well, Austin says he wants to be in the Royal Rumble and... Well, I don't like the looks of this. The Undisputed Era's music hits. And there they are, notable by his absence, is Adam Cole. Austin, where the hell do you get off? You think just because Adam Cole beat you at True Grit, that means it's over? After Adam beat your ass, he was admitted to the hospital for blood loss and is not here tonight. But he will be at the Royal Rumble to eliminate you from the match. And we find it insulting that you're even out here tonight. As far as Adam Cole is concerned, he agrees with us. Just because he beat you at True Grit, that isn't enough. The fact that you're still walking means he didn't do enough. And for all the torment you've put us through over the past few months, it's time for us to finish the job. And that is not just a fact, that is undisputed. Oh, well, Adam Cole may not be here, but his lackeys sure are. 
Roderick Strong, Barbie Fish and Kyle O'Reilly now surrounding the ring and now look at this taking out Stone Cold Steve Austin Austin is still injured from that brutal street fight and now a chair the undisputed era picking apart Stone Cold but look out it's Kenny Omega Kenny Omega clearing the ring of the UE and Omega is someone who is not in a mood to be messed with here tonight Austin may be seriously hurt after that attack Undertaker you undead dipshit come down to this ring right now you cost me the NLW championship I don't want to win until later I want to fight you right now let's do this let's go Hold on, hold on, Kenny. You don't get to dictate when the matches happen around here. I do. I understand your frustration, but as the NLW commissioner, I must... Oh, Sean, shut up. I don't want to sit through a 20-minute promo. Am I going to get the match right now or not? You know damn well I should be the NLW champion. And the reason I'm not is because of The Undertaker. And hell, I know Jeff Hardy's back there celebrating his title win. How about he comes out here and fights me right now too? Let's go. Kenny, your hothead is going to get you a lot of trouble. So I'd suggest you pipe down. You've already rubbed me the wrong way a couple weeks back when you barged past me, saving your idiot friends the Young Bucks. I don't like your attitude right now, but you know what? I understand where you're coming from. Hey, we all had trouble at True Grit. Yeah, you may have been screwed out of the title, but I also had to deal with an invader, an intruder. The Metal Commissioner showed up uninvited and tried to ruin the show. Well, if you're watching at home, Commission, I want you to know that on Metal, I hope my best friend, Triple H, the EVP of NLW, fires your ass. But as for you, Kenny, I'll tell you what. You will have your match with The Undertaker tonight in the main event. And because I'm a fair man, if you somehow manage to beat The Undertaker, then all HBK will make sure that you go to the Royal Rumble and face Jeff Hardy for the NLW Championship. That's all I wanted to hear. And I know you don't like me, Sean, but I appreciate the opportunity. Tonight, I beat The Undertaker once again, and at the Royal Rumble, I will become NLW Champion. For Jeff Hardy, it will be lights out. Goodbye and good night back. Oh, oh my God, no. The lights have gone out. And there he is, folks. There is The Undertaker. The man who cost Kenny Omega the title at True Grit. Flanked by the Ministry of Darkness and... Oh, no. Well, we knew we were going to hear from him eventually as The Undertaker and the Ministry stand over a prone Kenny Omega making his way to the ring the newest member of the Ministry of Darkness the NLW Champion the new NLW Champion Jeff Hardy and look at and that's his brother Matt his brother Matt Hardy who Jeff Hardy is ordering around and that's because of True Grit, Jeff Hardy beat Matt Hardy in a match to own his contract. And now Matt has to do whatever Jeff says. And he's ordering him now to... Look at this. Matt Hardy reluctantly delivering a twist of fate at the behest of the newest member of the ministry. And what does the NLW champion have to say? I want you to look at me right now. I want you to look at this shiny title on my shoulder. This symbolizes that I'm the best professional wrestler in the world. I told you I would cash in money in the bank and at True Grit I fulfilled my destiny. Climbed to the top of that triple cage and grabbed my NLW championship. Now this company revolves around me. But that's not all. My brother Matt by beating you at True Grit, I now own your contract, which means you do what I say or you suffer the consequences. And I know it's tough 
because I was once misguided like you, but now I have seen the lad, and sooner or later you will come around to our way of thinking. My creatures of the night have fallen silent, and I can finally hear my calling. I am the Antichrist of professional wrestling. I am your NLW champion, and it is all thanks to the guidance of my higher power. I prophesied that the ministry would acquire a brand new disciple, and I welcome Brother Jeff to our ministry. He has seen the light, and now we can continue our dominance in the name of the higher power. It is that power that guided Jeff to the NLW title. It is that power which guided me to vanquishing Chris Jericho and burying him alive at True Grit. And it is that same power that will guide me tonight when I beat Kenny Omega. Kenny, you talk a big game. You've beaten me before in the pits of hell, but now, with the ministry by my side, we are stronger than ever. And you don't stand a chance. But I must admit, there has been something plaguing my mind. I am, of course, talking about my brother, Kenny. For he is yet to arrive here by our side. I have been working extensively with him breaking down his spirit to make him see that the higher power will be the only power that can guide him to glory. And at True Grit, what you saw was a divine sign. Setting that grave on fire, the mask a symbol of his torture, placed on a pedestal for the world to see. Cain, you still have a choice to make. You can fulfill your duty to our family and join the ministry in dominating this company, or you will fall at our collective feet. Tonight, however, Kenny Omega, this whole ministry started with you and it's going to end with you. Tonight, you will rest in peace. Well, this is certainly a developing situation which is going to cause a lot of pain and suffering for anyone who gets in the way of the ministry. If Omega wins tonight, he gets a title shot, but the ministry look unstoppable. God damn it! Steve, Steve, look man, you need to calm down. Sean, tonight I want all three of those Undisputed Era jackasses in that ring. I'm going to kill them. Steve, I'm not booking that match, and after that street fight at True Grit, you are in no condition to compete, so I'm going to have to ask you to leave. Well, Sean, you can piss off because Stone Cold ain't leaving until I have each of the Undisputed Era's heads on a damn spike. Hey, man. Yeah, it's me. Look, I'm worried about Stone Cold. Things are getting out of hand here. He's refusing to leave the arena. Uh, could you come here tonight? I really need your help. Well, Shawn Michaels on the phone to somebody to try and help him out tonight. Stone Cold Steve Austin has gone off the deep end, both physically and emotionally there. He wants the Undisputed Era in a worse way, and here you see AJ Styles accompanied to the ring by the Good Brothers, not getting the reaction he's probably used to. And, well, when you're aligning yourselves with the likes of the Good Brothers, you're not going to get a good reaction, folks. And this all stems from what happened at True Grit. It was a triple threat match to crown the first ever Atlas champion. The Good Brothers came to ringside to help AJ Styles, and it turns out that AJ Styles actually wanted them there. So everything that AJ has been talking about, about winning on his own, was a complete lie. However, even the Good Brothers weren't enough to help him win the Atlas Championship. That honor goes to the Limitless One, Keith Lee. And Keith Lee is now the brand new first ever Atlas Champion. And tonight, AJ Styles has his hands full with a fresh bag of oranges. Freshly squeezed, Orange Cassidy competing in his first one-on-one -on -one match here on NLW Live. And we've seen Orange Cassidy for the past few weeks he had a good showing in the Battle Royal a couple weeks ago. But tonight, this is the first opportunity we've got to see him in singles action. And it's against one of the best wrestlers in the world, no doubt, AJ Styles. And the match has begun and Orange Cassidy wasting little time. But AJ not playing games. 
And you hear the response from this crowd. They've definitely turned on AJ Styles. Off the ropes, Lee frogs him. And with his hands still in his pockets, delivers an arm drag. And a drop kick. And Orange Cassidy looking for the upset, but a kick out from AJ Styles. And now Orange go for the Orange Punch, but a Pele kick from AJ Styles. And don't let Orange's cool, calm demeanor fool you. He's a very accomplished athlete, albeit a little bit lazy. And look at that. Well, there's no need for that. Just slap him. Orange Cassidy across the face. And what's the phenomenal forearm? But Orange Cassidy very slowly rolls out of the way. And now gives him the old thumbs up. Time out, time out. Is this what Shawn Michaels thinks is competition for the phenomenal one? I should be the Atlas champion. AJ Styles should not be fighting the likes of Orange Cassidy. This guy is a joke. He's not on my level. And I find it insulting that you're cheering him over me. Quite frankly, freshly Oh, look out! Orange Cassidy with a tope suicida. And Gallows and Anderson can't believe it. But Orange Cassidy with a top rope DDT. Well, AJ Styles, a little bit faced by the crowd's reaction to him, he feels that it's unjust. And now Orange goes for beach break, his finisher, but no. Turn into the Styles clash. And AJ Styles picks up a win over freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And the good brothers celebrating this win like they won the title. Well, AJ Styles may have lost at True Grit, but gets somewhat of a consolation prize with this victory here tonight. Although Orange Cassidy very nearly pulled off the upset onto AJ Styles. He tried to hit the beach break and then AJ turned it around into the Styles Clash. And now in the ring, look at this. Trying to add injury to insult. There's no need for this. The OC attacking, look out! It's the new Atlas champion, Keith Lee, for the rescue. Well, Keith Lee coming to the aid of Orange Cassidy. Holding that Atlas title high. The OC and AJ Styles, despicable actions from them. Look, man, I'm going to level with you. My chest hasn't been the same since you chopped me out of the air. But I know you and me are going to be in that Royal Rumble match. So straight up, I need to prove that I can still hang. How about you face me in the ring next week? I don't know if you're brave or stupid, but I can respect that you would actually want to challenge me. You're on. But word of warning, the Ring General doesn't take pity and doesn't pull punches. I wouldn't have it any other way. Ricochet at True Grit, you unfortunately came up short in your attempt to regain the X Division title in Ultimate X. There was, however, a giant surprise for everyone when Will Ospreay made his return. Now, the last time we saw him was the infamous match where you beat him for the title in seconds. How do you feel about Ospreay being back in NLW? Oh, there he is, speak of the devil. And now drop kicking that crate in the skull of Ricochet. Will Ospreay with a sneak attack. And there you see the new X Division champion, Mustafa Ali, to stop Osprey from causing any further damage. Well, you know what? That whole rivalry stems from Osprey being embarrassed last year by Ricochet. And Osprey with a vicious assault. And you want to talk about vicious assaults? Look no further than the Death Triangle's assault on the Young Bucks two weeks ago on NLW. The Death Triangle laying out the Tag Team Champions, the Young Bucks, and we have not seen them in the past two months. You see the Death Triangle in the ring who have an issue that they need to solve tonight with Los Ingobernables. Two new factions debuted at the same time, LIJ and the Death Triangle. 
And since that night, on episode 95, these two factions have been warring. There you see Selena Vega leading her crew down to the ring. They did not have a good night at True Grit. And that was evident in Ultimate X. Six of the best wrestlers in the world fighting. We had LIJ and the Death Triangle fighting amongst themselves. And then there you see the commissioner, the metal commissioner, invading the show as he promised to do to get some revenge on his old time rival, Tetsuya Naito. Well, you heard Shawn Michaels reference it earlier tonight. We know that the EVP of NLW Triple H will be going to Metal this Saturday to talk about Metal's future. And we'll see what that entails. But right now, six man tag team action. As Garza gets hit with a sling blade. And in comes Phoenix with the springboard cutter. LIJ and the Death Triangle. This is the first time they're facing off in a sanctioned match. And that's what you're going to see here. As these warriors battle, Pack goes behind on Andrade. And now a snap German suplex, but a kick out from Andrade. And now the former X Division champion, Hiromi Takahashi, on the apron, distracting the referee, and that allows Andrade to hit a Pele. And Pack's in trouble. Andrade on the top rope. And there's the double moonsault. Hooks the leg, but a kick out from Pack. And you know what? Some of these men could be involved in the 30-man Royal Rumble match coming up. And a win tonight would certainly build some momentum. Tetsu and Ito in control. Going for Destino on Pack. But Pack turns it around. And drops Naito with the Brain Buster. This has been an exciting six-man tag thus far. Faction Warfare here tonight as Penta gets tagged in. A big chop to the chest of Gaza and a lung blower. And Andrade coming in but gets backflipped into a power bomb. Have you ever seen that before? And now tags his brother Ray Phoenix, who comes in. Naito's also been tagged and gets tagged with that boot. And now look at this. All of LIJ on the outside. Pentagon Jr. comes over the top with a tope con hello. Wiping him out. And now Destino! Destino but from the top, the black arrow. And the win goes to the left triangle. That was a well-scouted move. Pack knew that Phoenix was in trouble. Getting to the top rope, hitting the Black Arrow. Selena Vega having a tough time with her crew as Death Triangle pick up the win in this six-man tag. Well, first of all, the Destino was turned into the Brain Buster. Then we saw that big kick to Naito and the dive from Penta. But Phoenix got hit with a Destino. It would have been over, but Pac came from the top rope, hitting the Black Arrow and reversing the pin. But the action's not over, folks. The Death Triangle and LIJ still fighting amongst themselves. And what is this now? Oh, surely not. The last time we saw the box, they were assaulted, or is this some sort of ruse? Oh, no, it's not. The tag team champions are back. And they just leveled Pack with the super kick. Oh, my God. Well, they tried to break Matt Jackson's ankle. They drove Nick Jackson through the announce table. And now the table's been set up in the ring. No Lucha Brothers to help. And Nick Jackson with the Meltzer driver. Meltzer driver through the table. A measure of revenge against the bastard. The same bastard that orchestrated the Bucks attack. But they will not stay down. 
the Young Bucks returning. The Tag Team Champions are back. And this faction war between Death Triangle and LIJ just got a lot more interesting. 30 men. One golden opportunity. To headline WrestleMania and become champion. No Limits Wrestling presents the Royal Rumble. To get early access to this event, visit patreon.com forward slash no limits wrestling. FTR, congratulations, you figured out that the APA likes to drink. Maybe soon you'll find out that the sky is blue. The APA doesn't just like to drink though, the APA likes to fight. And boys, you can keep the money you stole from us, consider it a loan. But our policy dictates that you are now in our debt. So on NLW Turbo in two weeks, how about you, Cash and Dax, fight us? Farouk and Bradshaw in a good old Texas Tornado brawl, and we can settle this little issue. And this time, we'll be stone cold sober, so FTR, you know, we'll be in a bad mood. See you there. Well, the challenge has been laid down. A tornado brawl on Turbo. Make sure you're subscribed to the second channel, NLW Figs, in the description to not miss out on that huge encounter. And it was a huge encounter between the man, Becky Lynch, and Ronda Rousey at True Grip. If Becky lost, she would never be able to challenge for the title again. But to the shock of many, Becky Lynch is now the new NLW Women's Champion. But it wasn't without controversy. Shayna Baszler tried to help out Rousey. Rousey broke the nose of Becky Lynch. We saw Paul Ellering for some reason on the apron. Caused a distraction for Becky, but Becky managed to roll up Ronda. And to the shock of many, the biggest upset of the year, Becky Lynch is the brand new women's champion. And what has she got to say here tonight? It feels good to be standing here as the brand new women's champion. Rani, I told you I was going to take your title. Try as you did, you didn't account for the man to be on top form. Your little lackey, Shayna Baszler, couldn't stop me. That gang of folks you hired to take me out didn't finish the job, and now I'm the top of the food chain. But unfortunately, I didn't leave that match at True Grit unscathed. The punch you threw at me rocked me pretty good, Ronnie, I'll be honest. I fractured a bone in my nose, I've got a concussion, but I will be happy once I'm cleared to give you a rematch if... What the hell are you doing here? Well, that's Paul Ellering on the apron there. We saw him at True Grit and it's come to think of it, we've seen him quite a bit recently. What's his deal? You finally noticed me, Becky. Becky, Becky, Becky. You saw me standing on the apron at True Grit. And I would like to apologize. I was not trying to distract you. Rather, I was trying to warn you. Haven't you noticed me, Becky? Haven't you noticed me watching? When you returned to NLW, I was there in the crowd. When you beat Shayna Baszler, I was there. When you were being beaten in that parking lot, I was there. And at True Grit, I was there. Becky, forgive me if I'm coming across as some sort of stalker, but I have some important information to relay to you. Your suspicions were correct. Ronda Rousey did indeed hire a gang of thugs to beat you up and try and take you out. And you were correct. That gang of thugs did not get the job done and thus have not been paid. And they will not be paid until the job is done. And Becky, that gang of thugs you refer to are under my jurisdiction. In my hand, I hold the bounty papers. You are still standing and that in itself presents a financial problem to me. And this contract states, until you are eradicated, I will not get paid. And since we didn't get the job done the first time, nor did we track you down a second time, right now, third time is the charm. Say hello to my mercenaries, the Kabuki Triad. The what? Oh my god! A 
And now security trying to stop this. Look out for... What the hell is going on? And on top. Insane elbow to the arm. They may have broken that arm in two. And that's Kyrie Sane. Io Shirai. Oscar. The Kabuki Triad. Mercenaries. Led by the Puppet Master, apparently. Paul Ellering. Fired by Ronda Rousey to take out Becky Lynch. And right there, they may have finished the job. Steve Sean called me. What the hell's going on? I have a lot on my mind right now. I don't give a damn, Hunter. Matter of fact, I don't care that you're the EVP. I want the Undisputed Era, and I want them now. Steve, I've got investors' meetings to go to. I have to prepare for Metal's future this Saturday. I don't have time to deal with your BS. All I need you to do is get the hell out of my arena. I, you know what, you know what, Hunter? Fine, I'll leave. But you know what? I don't have time to deal with you either. Whoa! Oh my god! Decking the game! And that right there may be the biggest mistake that Stone Cold has ever made, striking the Executive Vice President of NLW. Well, Triple H will be on metal this Saturday to deliver an update on that brand's future. But right now for the NLW Live brand, we are ready for our main event. Kenny Omega tonight with a victory will go to the Royal Rumble and challenge Jeff Hardy for the NLW Championship. But there's only one problem. The man he's facing is The Undertaker. And Kenny Omega and The Undertaker, they fought at WrestleMania. They fought inside Hell in a Cell. And tonight, it's the rubber match. The third match between these two in the historic rivalry which has taken place over the past two years. But now, The Undertaker is fighting on behalf of his new disciple, the charismatic enigma, Jeff Hardy. You know that Jeff Hardy, in all likelihood, doesn't want to face Omega. But that's tonight. Coming up next, folks, next week on NLW, Triple H delivers a state of NLW address. Plus, in six-man tag team action, the OC, team up for the first time in NLW to take on the team of Keith Lee, Orange Cassidy and a mystery opponent. Plus, in singles action, Rey Mysterio has challenged Walter. Walter has accepted, I don't know if Rey's got a death wish or what, but that match will happen next week and could have huge ramifications for the upcoming Royal Rumble, as will this main event. The Undertaker staring daggers at Kenny Omega, who goes right after him, but caught and dropped with the snake eyes and the big boot from the Phenom. And now The Undertaker. Oh, he went for a choke slam. But a Tiger suplex from Kenny Omega. And now a drop kick to The Undertaker. Rise of the Terminator coming. That dive from Omega comes over the top, but no. The Undertaker punches him in midair. And The Undertaker was the one who cost Kenny Omega the NLW Championship in the triple cage at True Grit, allowing for Jeff Hardy to come to ringside and cash in money in the bank. Tonight, The Undertaker tries to stop Kenny Omega from challenging for the title again. Shawn Michaels made the step, but it may be lights out for Omega. That elbows his way free of the chokeslam. Now Omega jumping to the top rope and a missile drop kick connects to the back of the skull. And now Omega on the second rope. Moonsault caught. Tombstone coming. But Omega reverses it. What a reversal. The point of the spike runner. And now the tope got it low. Over the top. Kenny Omega wipes out the phenom. Omega throwing everything he has at The Undertaker. 
And he signals for it. The B trigger. And the one we did will come in. No, Undertaker. With the last ride to Kenny Omega. And that may be it. But Omega kicks out. Somehow Undertaker couldn't get the job done on that occasion. But he wants to put it away right now with a Tombstone Pile Driver. And Omega with a V trigger. Omega with a V trigger, stunning the Undertaker. And the Kamagoye! That knee strike to the face of the dead man. Oh, but look who's at ringside. It's the NLW champion, Jeff Hardy. The Antichrist. But the Undertaker from behind. And now look at this, Jeff Hardy on the apron, distracting the referee. And now, oh no, Matt Hardy with a chair. He does not want to do this, folks. He's being forced by Jeff. And no! Oh, miscommunication! Matt Hardy with a chair shot to The Undertaker. And Kenny Omega's done it. Omega with a roll up. And Kenny Omega is going to the Royal Rumble. Well, Jeff Hardy will not be happy about it. But Omega will face Hardy at the Rumble for the title. And now, the Ministry have swung the ring and the, ch the title belt off the skull of Kenny Omega. And this is disgusting. And now look at this. Jeff Hardy telling the Ministry to punish Matt for failing. This is a beatdown, an assault. Omega has nowhere to go. And Jeff Hardy just going to beat down Kenny Omega with the, with the rest of the ministry. What, I don't know what's going on here. Uh, like, like, the lights have gone down. Omega is still in trouble, folks. What is this? And the, uh, what the hell? He's back! Buddy Murphy. Oh my god. Bailey with a two so to Rosemary. And now he's going for the ride. The choke slam. Choke slam to Murphy. And Bailey and Kane together. He could not be broken. He could not be beaten! And Bailey has brought Kane! Kane set to be the Undertaker's worst nightmare!